Hi again, welcome to another video. This is just a sort of quick update video on the VW T4 engine conversion. Uh, just before I start, we have a cold looking Laura there with a new hat on. Like your new hat? My little hat. <laughs> so um, yeah, we've moved on quite a lot with the van. I'll just turn you around and I'll explain what I've done. So I'm moving on quite well with the van. I haven't filmed any of the jobs I've done on it in the last couple of sessions I've been up here because there have been difficult areas like underneath the dashboard and fiddly bits and a lot of it is just quite boring stuff really. But we've um, got the ECU bolted on today. The bracket is all on behind there and that's all bolted on, all plugged in. So that is all good, so that's done. Uh, we've been, just been working through the vacuum lines. I did have some sort of a diagram, but some things were like a little bit different. So uh, we've worked it the best we can. We'll know if it runs okay and everything, we'll know we've got it right. Um, that one there has to go to that pipe. So that hasn't been changed yet because I've replaced all of the vacuum lines with new pipe. And I've got one here as well that one that goes through there and that goes to the air box but the air box on this hasn't got the nozzle to sort of connect the pipe to the air box but the one that was on the golf did have but i can't use that one and also the other pipe that come off the golf this one which is i'm not sure here that had that connector there which i haven't got on that pipe so i'm going to have to order a couple of sort of universal ones that will fit into there and fit into the box so i'll get them ordered today uh, inside i've been getting on quite well and i'm going to have to get the torch to show you what we've done in there so as you can see there's all the pedals and the throttle pedal is all in and it is working that was a tricky job up there um you can probably just make out that bracket Not particularly a hard job, but just tricky because, yeah, yeah, didn't have no room. But that's all good now. All the wiring loom is all back in place there. So that's all back how it should be. I still have my old key there. I think I mentioned before, I had a ignition barrel issue. So uh, I had to leave the old key and it taped up under the dash. So it was always... Um, coded in the key matched that bit but i haven't really got to use that now so that's why i haven't put the underneath bit back there yet because i'm going to probably just um well i'm definitely gonna take the barrel out of that bit there and i might just cable tie that last bit up uh, i could remove it all but probably means taking the speedo and that out and i don't really need to uh, this is just redundant now this wiring so uh, yeah i'll just um tuck that out of the way and then put the bit along there and yeah forget about it uh, we had to take the glove box out today to get the other side of the bolts for the ecu bracket so yep that's all back in now we've done all that so that's that's good we are moving on i'll just go through what we've got left to do a few bits yet um i want to check the gearbox oil if it's okay i will try it with the oil that's in it but i will do a gearbox oil change i'm not gonna put new oil in it until i know the gearbox is okay but obviously before i take it out i want to check it's got oil in it so i've got to do that uh i have started to connect the power steering uh pipe work back to where it should be uh but that connects to the front panel which i haven't got back on yet and the pipe there's two pipes that connect on to sort of round the radiator and there's like uh i'll just show you over here there's like a pipe that goes through with cooling fins so yeah one pipe goes to one end and one goes to the other so that'll all be connected up when the radiator goes back on it won't be this radiator because look at the state of the old one underneath it did lose a bit of water, but not a great deal. Um, I'd fill up sort of every few months, but yeah, I've got a better one. So I'll be putting that on. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I mentioned, uh, but I've got the cover to go back on there, which is a, a many minute job. Um, yesterday I did the power steering belt. You can just see that belt there, new belt there. So 
um, that's all on, should be okay. Um, I'm hoping the belts aren't gonna squeak now. I used to always squeak when I used to use this van on the old engine, but as a lot of bits are different now, hopefully we don't have the squeak. I've still got our work out the intercooler pipe work. Um, I've got a collection of bits and pieces I got with the Golf engine and that as well. So I'll see what I can work with with that. I've got the intercooler there and I'm gonna fit that. I think I mentioned before, I was gonna try and fit it in there, but it's not gonna be the right way around to fit it there. So I'm gonna to have to sort of tuck it behind the bumper, but that's gonna probably mean I'm gonna to have to, it's gonna probably sit about there. Might better sit it even like there, we'll see. But um, I'm gonna to have to bore some holes in the bumper so it's getting the air through. Didn't really wanna do that, but I might just have to if I'm going with that one, because it's got a, yeah. Um, be able to have the air coming into it. So we've got that to sort out and then working out where the water hoses all connect to. But I think most of them are sort of in place now. Um, there is something down the bottom. I think I'm gonna have to change from my old engine onto this one because there's an extra outlet or something. Um, so that's right down the bottom. But yeah, I'm getting there now. I haven't started it up uh, for a few weeks. Uh, I'm pretty confident if I just connected the battery, it will start. Uh, but I need to get a new battery for it as well. Um, I've got a new power steering fluid to go in it when I'm ready to do that. But yeah, fiddly little jobs like putting this in, for example, just take so long. Uh, you have to have someone to help you inside to hold the, the nut or the bolt or whatever. But that's gone up in there quite nicely there. That's nice and secure, tucked right out of the way. So I'm well pleased with that. And I'm glad the pedal's done as well. Uh, two sort of fiddly, tricky little jobs, uh, which... Like I said, not particularly that hard, just take take a bit of time. Oh, and the other thing is I've got to order another rocker cover gasket because I didn't realise the one for my old engine was straight along there. And if you see that goes like that. I was hoping to use my old rocker cover because it's got longer filler, filler pipe, but I can't do that now because I need a different gasket. I had the one from my van, which was, yeah, just straight. So I'll probably just, as there's not gonna be nothing in the way, some people fit an intercooler up the top, on the 2.5 TDIs, because they did these vans with a 2.5 TDI, but not with a 1.9 TDI, which this is. Um, they had the intercooler up there and had a vent sort of through the bonnet, uh, but I'm not gonna have that because mine's gonna be down at the bottom. So when I've got to check, fill up with oil, I'll just have to have a funnel. I think some people might weld the part on and so they can have the longer pipe. I'm not particularly that bothered about that. It's just how often do I need to put oil in it? Every few months, perhaps. Hoping not at all, only when I change it. So we've just in the update, I'm up the unit today. We were gonna to go to work, but it's raining now. It rained, started to rain on the way and got quite heavy. So we popped up here to get a couple of bits and I thought, as it's still raining, I might as well do a couple of little jobs on the van conversion. If you look in here, we did come up yesterday and work out how all the pipe work can go to the intercooler. The intercooler is right down there. You won't be able to see it very well at the moment, but we'll get into that later. But what I've got to do, now I've connected all that and now I've got it how I want it. I've got to take all that off and then I've got to do the rocker cover gasket. I've got the new one just behind me. And then I've got to do the cam belt cover, fit that. Uh, I've just got to torque the tensioner up on that just to double check that's all good. I uh, haven't got torque wrench with me, so I can't actually do that at the moment, but uh, I can do the rocker cover. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So what I'll do, I'll take this pipe work off and then I'll be back with you when I'm taking the rocker cover off and then we'll get that new gasket fitted. So I've removed the intercooler hoses, which I needed to remove. I have left one there, but that's not doing no harm there. So I'm gonna take this pipe off here. I'm just gonna put that to the side, take this off. Just tuck that there, and yeah, we'll take that off as well. There we go, that's all out of the way. Uh, got the 10 mil socket. I had actually had this off before, I think I mentioned earlier, I can't remember now in the update, uh, but I had the wrong gasket. This one's got them sort of curved bits around there. My other one was straight, so I had the wrong gasket, but I've got the correct one now, so get that fitted. One more little job done. I'm getting quite close now. 
but I've still got some fiddly jobs to do. I'll go into that about the intercooler is um, going to be one of my main jobs, connecting that to the body of the man. It's easy enough, it's just going to take a little while. I have bought some metal bracket stuff to help me, well, hopefully help me. So we've got them off. Uh, this should be fairly clean because I cleaned it up before, ready to put the gasket on, and then I had the wrong one, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's put that out there. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but no harm done, I don't think. Yeah, now I've put it back on, there is some oil gone around the edge of it. So I'll clean that off camera. We'll just get the rocker cover, and that'll probably be much the same. I've actually got the old gasket in there because I decided to put the old gasket back, just temporary. Uh, so that's why the oil has gone on there. So we'll get this all cleaned up and then I'll be back with you. So now I've cleaned up around there and I've cleaned the rocker top as well, the cover. That's over just behind me. So I'm going to fit this new gasket on. As you can see, it's got the curved bits this time. So the correct one. That half moon bit there fits in that end into that little bit there and that part fits above there. So we'll get that all sitting in place. There is a couple of like locating like little rubber dowels really to just locate it in place, even though it doesn't seem to hold in there that well. Sort of there, it's just if I can get that one holding better, it will be much better. I think as it's been folded up in the packaging, it is just twisted a little bit. If I can get that to sort of sit in that groove there, I'm happy with the rest. Just double check that once more. I think that should be okay. So I'll get the rocker cover now. And just, there it is, it's all clean around the edge, all around there. So tip it in that end a little bit first like that. Yeah, I think that's all good now. It looks okay along there, seems to be sitting down okay. And around the back. So I have these to go on next. They go on there. And that metal piece goes on top. These are actually new ones. They come with the other gasket, which I couldn't use. So that goes there, goes on there. Pretty simple little job. Another one of them on there. And the metal piece on top. And then I've got the three nuts. Probably is a torque setting for these, but I'm just gonna, well there will be a torque setting for them, but I'll just, Nip them up to where I think is good enough. The old one might have been okay before I interfered with it, but it's best when you can get to it okay to replace it. About 11 pounds, I think. Nothing more annoying than a rocker cover gasket leaking because the oil goes right to the bottom. You, you can think you've got an oil leak from anywhere and it can, it's usually, not every time, but quite often from the rocker gasket just leaking down.
starts to get stupidly tight. Just make sure I sort of do it evenly. Just to squish it down as, so it seals. One feels okay. Feels okay. This one. And that's okay so another little job done so now i'll have to decide what the next job will be i wish i had the torque wrench up here because i would have done the cam belt cover but i can't do that until later or tomorrow whenever i come up next uh can't do any of the intercooler stuff yet because i need to like i said need to do that cover i have got to sort out a water hose down there a coolant hose because it's wrong for the radiator so i may have a look at that next and then I'll show you what I had to do there after I've sorted that. I ain't gonna be able to film down there very easy, so I'll just sort that out off camera. And I'll be back with you when I'm probably I'm fitting the intercooler piping back on. And then making the brackets, I'll sort of give you a bit of an overview of, the, of me doing that. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. But with the update and me showing you me doing the rocker cover gasket, I'm gonna leave this part here. And in the next part, I'll cover them jobs I just mentioned. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.